All right, this one's going to be on uh, virtual terminals and X sessions. Okay, so we're going to use VirtualBox with this, so I can record this. Uh, the difference, okay, right now that you're looking at this, these are called X sessions or your GUI stuff. You know, the pretty stuff. Um, if you drop down to the virtual terminals, let me see. Control Alt to F1. Right, these are just like, you know, nothing. It's just uh. A terminal and let me zoom in here so you can see that sometimes they're referred to as TTY screen which is what I call it so you can see that it says TTY1 and if you press control alt F2 uh, or you know F3 or 4 5 F6 then they have uh, you know a different screen for that All right but we go back to uh, TTY1 here and from so from F1 to F6, those are your virtual terminals, aka uh, TTY screen. And from F7 to F12, those are your GUI, uh, you know the pretty graphical user interface one. So if you want to go back to your um, what is that your GUI interface, you go Control Alt F7, and you're back to here, right? So you can always drop down or go back to your GUI. Um, by default, they only have one GUI, and that's the F7. You can have more, but you know, if you go out, Control Alt F8 or anything like that, or 9, 10, 11, 12, they're blank right now. That means they're reserved for, you know, the X session only. Uh, it's not the the console that you see over here, right? So by default, there's only one. Uh, I'll show you how to get more if you want, and why would you want to use these virtual terminals or these X sessions well basically sometimes your you know your uh, your computer freezes or your application freezes and you can't close it you can always drop down to um, the TTY screen right and well we'll log in here let me zoom in first alright so we'll log in with your Username and password. It's just that it's from uh, the command line. Let's see here. All right. So you're logged in. You can actually ls out your files if you want. Um, and you can kill the application using, you know, whatever program you want. Like htop is very common, and you can kill the process that is hanging or it's you know freezes or whatever. But yeah, that's one thing you can do. Another thing is I've seen some people, like some newbies, you know, they, they don't know what the hell virtual terminals are, and they're trying to install like a driver, like ATI drivers, um, and it requires you to drop out of the GUI, okay? And, and then you can run the commands from, uh, you know, the terminal here. Uh, another reason is, I think like two years ago, I installed like Arch Linux, and you know, Arch Linux is very minimal, so they didn't really have a GUI terminal. I'm like, what the fuck? Where's that at? You know, because basically your terminal is your package manager. They don't really have any GUIs that's worth using, and they didn't have a, uh, you know, like a GNOME terminal or anything like that. So you have to drop down to here to install it, and then go back in there and, and use it, or you can use it from here if you want. Okay. Anyways, that's another usage of the TTY screen uh, if you want to do that um, so that's it for that if you want to start another GUI session because right now we have um, you know the control alt um, F7 right it's just one only if you want to start another one we'll just do start uh, X dash dash uh, what is this called colon and um, the virtual, not the virtual, I mean uh, the X sessions is kind of where it's different from the TTY. It counts it from 0 and, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 as opposed to 1, 2, 3, 4. So by default, you already have 0 because you always need, uh, um, you know, one GUI. If you want to add another one, we do 1 and I'll start another one. Uh, we want to break this off from the terminal. We use the and sign, and right now we do this. Okay, I'll start another session right here, right? 
and this one is, is independent from um, any other ones that we have so let's say we open the game here if we go back to control alt F7 you're back to this one and you can do whatever you want in here and you know you can switch back and forth if you wanted to right uh, between control alt F7 control alt F8 uh, and you can do so on and so forth for 9, 10, 11, 12 if you make another uh, X session uh, if you wanted to um, what's the usage of this? Well, one good usage is for porn. You can look at it in one, and then someone comes in, hey, you switch it off, back to back to doing work, you know? Uh, so that's one thing. Another thing I've seen some people do is they use it for um, their wine games, because some wine games, you know, they like are very old school, and they require a certain resolution, like a really small resolution. And so you can do something like that to pass it on to a, a next X session. Uh, another purpose I think is uh, yeah, just to have like a, another one to work with if you want to. But that's really those are the, like the only reasons that I know so far. Anyways, um, if you didn't know about virtual terminals and you know X sessions, now you do. Okay, so I'll probably post those commands that uh, I use here. You know, if you want to make more uh, X sessions, you just go start X dash dash colon and add another number like two, and then the and sign is just to you know break it off from the terminal, so you can still use your terminal. Anyways, that's it for this one. Um, I'll probably show you some more stuff you can do from uh, the TTY screen in the future, but uh, that'll be it for this one, so you can understand what it is.